What is happening guys, Archizzle here and welcome to another video, Archies, hope you guys are having a great day. As you can see on the title, Archizzle got an army award, this was actually delayed, it should have been presented to me months ago from my last duty station, but I just want to read it to you guys, share it to you, and then we'll talk a little bit more about army awards and what does it really mean to me. Department of the Army. This is to certify that the Secretary of the Army has awarded the Army Commendation Medal to Sergeant Narcissus G. Masibai, HHG, 21st Cash, for meritorious service while serving as a healthcare specialist. Sergeant Masibai's dedication, exceptional performance, and devotion to the duty contributed significantly to the unit's mission. His actions are in keeping with the finest traditions of military service and reflect great credit upon himself, the 21st Combat Support Hospital, the first medical brigade and the United States Army signed my colonel. So yeah, it's pretty cool seeing this in the mail, you know, receiving it and opening the package is like, oh, I finally got my award, my PCS award. It's not the first PCS award, it's not the first award that I've gotten, but it's just pretty cool and I wanted to share it to you guys. And also bear in mind sometimes when you PCS or when you move to a different duty station, permanent change of station, some awards might be delayed because of some admin issues, some admin stuff, someone lost it, you know, no one tracked it, but you will get it as long as you get good contact with your old unit. But yeah, on to the main topic of the video, why I want to talk about awards. Some people want army awards or any type of awards in the military because they want promotion points, they want recognition, they want their class A's or their dress blues or whatever you want to call it to be all high speed and looking really cool. Matter of fact, let me show it to you guys. Here we go. Take it out for the package. I haven't taken this thing out in a long time. You've seen this in a previous video before on my channel, but I got a few and this thing needs to go to the dry cleaners, obviously. I really hate explaining over and over again what I have on my class A's, but I'm just probably just gonna do a quick down and dirty, you know, just a walkthrough on what I have. Soap and a rope, if you were in Germany, you did this. The shoots and snares where you're fired and qualified with a German weapon. So this is way easier. As you can see, I got AAMs over there from my old unit and stuff that I've done when I was in the field. AAM stands for Army Achievement Medal, by the way. This is my good conduct medal, meaning I haven't done any crazy stuff or haven't gotten in trouble for the past three years. And I should be up for another one in March because that would be my sixth year mark in the army national defense ribbon right there global war on terror expeditionary medal i got that when i was in kuwait this one global war on terror service medal so this one this one and this one i got those right after basic training in ait army service ribbon right there overseas ribbon over there for being in germany and here is from wlc now known as blc nco professional development ribbon driver's badge i haven't gotten any crazy stuff while driving in military vehicle for a certain amount of time no issues no accidents m4 carbine 36 out of 40 recruiter badge my old unit awards that should be changed amed emblem and all of that and soon for the ribbons we'll have another one which is the arcom which looks something like this it's just green and white and soon it will be on the rack over there. So yeah, that's basically what I have on my uniform, my class A's for ribbons and awards. For me, it's a little bit of a big deal because it reminds me of what I have done in the army, not just because, oh, I did something really cool and I got a really cool award. Yes, because I needed for promotion points, but it's a really great reminder, in my opinion, on what I have done while in the army, where I was, the people that I worked with, the people that I know when I had that award. Like every award reminds me of a certain time in my army career. Like I can tell you straight up, like the first AAM, I got it because I was performing as a medic and that was the first time I was actually handling patients. I don't really want to tell the whole story but it has to deal with like being a med tech or being a lab we're dealing with a lot of blood blood drawing as a six day of whiskey it was more than what i was supposed to do it was an impact aam it was pretty cool seeing the overseas ribbons over there and nco development ribbons it's just to show like damn i was actually in germany it brings back the good times and bad times while i was over there no crazy combat awards or anything like that and you know it's not something that i really look forward to i mean it'll happen if it will happen. I feel like awards shouldn't be expected. It's just, it'll come. 
You know, if you're that person who wants to have all that ribbons, all that awards for promotion points, that's great. Be competitive. But if you're looking for awards just for bragging rights, I think that's the wrong mentality. Awards are given for individuals, for people who exceeded their performance, who actually performed really well on things that they're supposed to do, or they went above and beyond on what they're expected to do. For me, that's what an award truly means. Matter of fact, if you see my awards compared to like other soldiers who've been in the army for like six years or less than six years, the same time as me I actually have a lot less than those other soldiers and it has to boil down again to where you've been at what duty station you've been at what you've been doing in the past few years your position and a lot more different factors but I'm proud of all these awards because I earned them and like what I said every award brings me back to a certain time in my army career as a PFC as a specialist as a sergeant and who knows if I end up being higher ranking down the road in this army career. So I guess I'm gonna end this video saying thank you to all the people who put in those awards for me because you can't have these awards if no one puts you in for an award. And it's just pretty cool. And like what I said, it's just things that make me remember on what I was doing, where I was at, who I was working with, what I was doing in order for me to get these awards. Well, there you guys have it. I just thought you would like looking at army ribbons and all that stuff because I know I have a lot of future soldiers there, brand new people who are like curious, like what does an army award mean or what does it stand for? Or, or at least for me what it means to me if you have any questions or if you have any stories that actually involves army awards not even army awards probably like a boy scout award a certificate for like running 10 miles or something some sports competition how did you feel getting those awards did you actually feel like you did something in your life that you should have gotten an award for it but you did not or they gave it to the wrong person how did you handle that situation and like always if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to get notified whenever I upload a new video hit that that thumbs up if you support the channel and also hit that bell icon to be part of the notification squad that is it for today i'll see you guys really soon archies our chisel out